my brand new 46 inch Milwaukee toolbox. I believe this is a first in a series of tool chests they're starting to make now and go into this, uh, this kind of segment of the tool market on here. This one is replacing my tried and true Craftsman unit you know, over there. I think it's 24 inch wide box on there. And it's just too small for my needs nowadays. Still works, but it's definitely just way too small. So this one being a 46 inch and extra tall like this, look at all those different drawers on there. This is the, the big thing I like. It has a couple big drawers down below, okay? And there's a big wide one right there in the middle for oddball long, long uh, tools, like pry bars, stuff like that. And then up here we have standard size, standard width ones for like sockets and all that stuff. But over here I love my small drawers. We still have my small drawers for picks and screwdrivers and stuff like that so they don't get lost in a huge old drawer like this one. So I, the, the, the drawer configuration on here seems to work. And what's pretty nice on here is the, the, the quiet close system. It'll basically just suck it in on there like that. Of course it's relying on having tools in there and weight throwing it back. And once it catches, see how it closes like that automatically. So it's a, it's a great little box and it's built really strong. Uh, they went over all kinds of details on how strong it is at the press event. Nice little lift struts there, gives you the clearance up here. And the nice thing is you can stand a tool up in here, hunker it down, whatever you're working on, and then close the lid. And there's plenty of room inside of here to do so. So, um, whoa. I want to go over a few installation notes on here. Now, starting at the bottom, I already, I already put the casters on down here. You can see them down in there, all bolted in. And one note on these is that they come with the bolt and washer, and that's great. But what you want to have on there is the blue Loctite also to make sure these don't loosen over time and a wheel falls off or whatever. So uh, it's just something to think about when you're putting the casters on initially because you're going to have that box laying on its back, throwing the casters on quickly so you can get the top box on next and start bolting stuff together. So it's one of the first steps and it's good to have that Loctite on hand. Now, the other nice thing about this box, I've never seen this in any other box, small, small nice little feature, is the drawer liners come with it and they're all pre-cut perfectly to each one of these drawers on here, small ones, big ones, and all that. So that's a really nice little feature on there also. And got your keys obviously for your different drawers and lids on here. And here's the brackets uh, for the sides there. These ones right here. These ones actually hold the top and bottom box together. So they would go back here, right here, these little screw holes, and that bolts top and bottom together on both sides on there. And of course, these holes right here for the big handles on each side, depending on if you need them or not. Now a few other interesting features on here. This drawer right here in particular has a uh, top to it here so you can do some work on top of it here. Instead of being our empty drawers, it's more at your, your height, your hip height here to start working on something. And then of course it's regular storage underneath there. And then you go down to the lower storage chest on here and it has pre-cut liners once again, okay? And keys and stuff like that. It has bumpers from the bottom of there and they'll bolt down here at the bottom. Right there you can see them. And they wrap around the outside of the box to protect it in case you are moving it a lot. And it also has a roll right here. Big mat right here. And that would go on top of the box right here if you were not using the top chest on here. Uh, so this just lays out on top of there. It's a nice thick uh, roll on there. Nice padding. Uh, for top protection on the top there also. So they include just about everything you need on here. Now the really cool feature on here, what I'm going to use a lot, is the power strips. You got power strips on the inside of the box here, obviously for anything. Plug in your iPhone, charge and stuff, whatever. Lights, little fans, little clocks, whatever, right? It's a great feature. There's, a, what, six outlets on there? That's great. The other cool thing is there's one on the outside in the bottom box here. And that allows you to plug anything on the outside here, like my Craftsman light. I want to hang up here and charge on the side of the box at all times. 
And then down here, they have holes, these, these blind rivets or whatever, um, pre-set in here for their chargers. So I can, I can put a screw in here and hook their chargers on here, plug them in, and my chargers for all their power tools are right here. You just throw the battery on, throw the battery on, and go. So I can hold two full-size chargers on there. That's a really nice feature also. I'm going to use that a lot. Here's those side brackets installed, you know, locking the top and bottom boxes together. Four small screws, and the holes on here are quite large, so you have some room to move it around to make sure it matches up perfectly on there. And that'll lock the top and bottom together, real nice. Okay, I'm putting all the drawer liners in real quick. Like I said, it's really nice that they're pre-cut on here. Just slide them in, tuck them around the edges here, and we move on. That's the worst part about getting a new box, is cutting those drawer liners just perfect in there. So this is a nice, quick, way to get these things set up and get you back in business. Now when it comes to this top one on here, this very top one, okay, what you'll notice on here, there's a cord in here and that's for your power strip that goes into here and there's a hole in the back side of the box there that you need to feed this through on there. So let's get the plastic off of here side here and we're going to pull this top drawer out of here. It's pretty simple though. I'll show you how to do that. So basically on the side here there's little tangs right here. Black tangs and you just press them up and down. Okay so this one I got going up and this one's going down and it will release the drawer from the, the drawer guides on there. At that point, you can grab your cord, get back in here, and you can see the hole straight back, and you just stick it through there. And I'll show you how that looks. You can see it way back in the back side there is a hole to go through. So you just pull this drawer out, see if your arm acts, you have arm access to, you know, feed it through there. And once it's through there, you're set to go uh, to plug it into the wall. And you can see how it's coming out of the back side here. So just finish feeding it all the way out. Okay. Now going back in with the drawer is a little bit trickier. Uh, but as long as the drawer is not too heavy, it's no big deal. Let's get it lined up on both sides. Okay. So you're fully in there. And all you're going to do is you're going to put it all in some resistance like that and what that's going to do is going to push it fully in the track so it locks so next time you pull it out it actually is locked in there doesn't fall out on you so that's that put our drawer liner in here now get that done I did the other drawer liners in the top box here already make these are make sure these are tucked in underneath now there's one other large mat that comes with it that's pre-cut like this and honestly that's the one that goes on the very top here. It's got Milwaukee stamped into it and it's really thick on there to protect the top box on here. Now for my purposes I'm going to put it up here flush with the edge like this okay and then I'm going to put something underneath here so it sticks to the box and doesn't move on me. The reason why it's cut like this is it's supposed to go all the way to the back okay like so. So when you close the top box like that and you latch it, it clears the latch area here. Now me, I'm never going to close my box, so I'm just going to put it all the way to the edge here so it looks really nice and protects it all the way to the edge and just secure it down on there. Top one done. Okay, now the bottom box on here, let's see what they have. Down here was where all the casters are at, so you know where they're at right away. They go box of casters down there, nothing in this drawer. Nothing in this drawer. This one holds all your power tools. And this one, same thing as the top one up here, has your power cord. So we're going to take it out of there, take the drawer out, and we're going to feed it through so that's it done. Now all the liners are right here, so. 
some bumpers, some keys, another manual in case you want to read it, and more importantly, all liners. They want in here. I can't tell you what a time saver this is. Boom. I'm walking away. I'm going on to the next boxes on here. Uh, the next drawers. It's amazing. Now, for that bottom box, they include a double sided tape, which I imagine, based on the length of it, is for the mat on top of the bottom box on there. So, I'm going to use it for this top mat and secure it down and get that taken care of. Regular 3M type stuff. Let me drop it though. Lay it on there. Like I said, I'm putting this in the very edge because that's my situation, but it should go all the way to the back to clear the latch on there. Looks pretty even all the way across, so I'm going to go ahead and push it down. Now what I didn't notice because I'm you know, a mechanic and I have all my tools here, um, is they give you a wrench in here just in case you don't have tools yet. So you can bolt on the casters down below with the 13 mil, and then you got like a 10 mil right here for the bolts for the, the side handles on here. So they do include some tools in there so you can get started uh, putting it together on there. Now the one last tip I can give you about this box before I start filling the tools is that the top lock and the bottom lock on here are keyed differently, which makes sense because they're made to be sold separately top and bottom chests on here, so it's not a matching set. What you can do, since this one and this one are a matching set, is simply take this lock and put it down here, and this lock and put it up here. This drawer you may never lock, uh, or you may get into every once in a while or just leave it unlocked. Um, whereas this one, this one, and get into work, you may want to just unlock your box and be done with it. So you can key these the same without buying anything extra. You have the lock right there. These two are the same. Uh, only thing that's different is the mounting to the rods in here and just to a flip up on here uh, to actually lock it in there. So it will flip over to the bottom on here, no problem. Just got to change the, the way it, it, it attaches in the back side and that's it. Alright, so that's about it. That's all there is to putting these two boxes together. I just want to go over those tips and tricks like the, the cords and how to pull the drawers out so you can get to them. Uh, stuff like that, how to put different things in, and what to expect if you buy this box. Like I said, the pre-cut liners is the best thing for me so far. Um, the power strips is a great, great feature. I think all toolboxes have, should have power strips in them. You need power for everything nowadays. to charge lights, uh, phones, uh, little radios inside of here, whatever, and then have a, an additional power strip in the side. For your chargers, just makes sense because you don't want chargers, big old chargers in here for all your power tools you know, cluttering the top of the box in here. So overall, I'm very impressed with the box. It's their first uh, a metal tool chest, you know, full-size tool chest that I know of, unless they released one way back when. Um, but so far, so good, it really fits the bill. My problem's gonna be uh, setting up just the way I I'm used to. On my box, I have muscle memory. So I go to the bottom drawer right here, I know it's all my pliers and hammers. I go to this one, it's all my screwdrivers. This one, it's my metric uh, combo wrenches and standards up top here. So I need to kind of set it up the same way so that I just can go over to it, grab it, and get back to whatever I'm working on, get that muscle memory built back up on there. So it's just like I can just get to work and get it done.